Peter, I never cease to be amazed how much attention really good players give posture and alignment. So while you're set up properly, let's see what the right posture might be to help us make some swings. It'll make our swing guide even more effective as we use it. And that looks reasonably good, Peter, but I'd like to see you stand a little taller with a little less knee flex so you feel like you're up a little higher and then your chin is back and you're back a little straighter. Now what that does, that gives you room for your arms to hang and suspend more freely. And as I've seen the swing change fractionally the last decades or two, what's happened, we see the club head swinging in front of the players more, so it feels like the club head stays in front of their hands while their hands are staying in reasonably close to their body. And the club is swinging in front of them. That's why we have so many tall players emerging, if you will, the Nick Baldos, the Nick Prices, the Tom Laymans, the Ernie Els. For so long, we taught the swing in a manner that the club got behind people very early in their backswing. And then, Peter, the swing guide would never connect to your left wrist, would it? They draw it. So that's one of the benefits that you've engineered into the swing guide. So let's give us a motion before we hit some shots. Give us some motion of how the club could swing it on up to the top of the backswing with the shaft staying in the right arc. That's it. Now swing it on down and let the swing guide connect to your left forearm on the forward swing. Ah, yeah, I like that. Now do it again. Let the swinging motion create a rhythm through your feet and legs and they pick that up and you sense where the club is swinging and where the swing guide is coming into the back of your left forearm. Again, posture is very critical. You want the weight on the balls of the feet. It gets there by hiking your bottom up, bending at the hips,